uh, Aboriginal Canadians were well represented in our forces in World War I and II. Yeah. And, and Korea. And Korea. And if we're talking tonight, as we Still have are. so much, on the issue of economic opportunities, which we all know Aboriginals have fewer of than other yep. Canadians, are they well represented in the forces today? No, not at all. And, and one of the reasons is what Sheila was mentioning before, that now you're asking our new recruits uh, to have a grade 12 to, to join the forces. And, and the figures uh, from the aboriginals on the reserve is that uh, only about 30% have a grade 12. So that recruiting pool, to a certain extent, uh, has diminished substantially in the past. But as an aside to that, and, and Des would know, the reserve in Aquasasne, just outside Montreal, the Mohawk, is one of the best uh, recruiting pool for the U.S. Marine Corps, has been for a long time. And even now, uh, per capita, they say it's one of the best recruiting um, area in the, uh, you know, the U.S. Richard US Gwynn. Canada. Uh, uh, Part uh, of growing uh, up Mohawk is to serve in the military. They mm. used to come to the Canadian forces, but frankly, they didn't think they were good enough. Not enough fighting, not enough killing, not enough soldiering. So they go to the U.S. Marine Corps, which, yep. whether or not it fulfills that expectation, boasts incessantly about it. <laughs> well, uh, uh, Des said partly what I was going to say, because a senior army officer told me that uh, as Canada became a reputation as peacekeepers, and we spent yeah. the world time going around the world handing out, you know, um, sacks of grain and so on, amongst native, many native, native people, Aboriginals, it became a turnoff. You weren't a warrior. You weren't a, you, well, you weren't manly, and so they go to the, uh, the military. The uh, peacekeepers are policemen on yeah. the reserve. Yeah. Interesting.